Aloha, sports fans, and welcome to the mid-spring Masters edition of the Maui News Sports Report. I'm Rob Coleus, once again joined by Jordan Helley, and uh, we had last week off, so let us get right to it. Uh, this week, Jordan, a huge series, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at Myhara Stadium. Baldwin shows once again that they're the cream of the crop in MIL baseball. They sweep Maui High to clinch a state berth. Yeah, not only did they sweep them, they kind of swept them in emphatic fashion. 23-6 to six total in that series. Two shutout victories, 9-0 on Wednesday, 5-0 on Thursday. Both complete game shutouts. Noel Polo in game one. Lyndon Kanamu, who was moved up. Baldwin did all of this without their number two guy, Josh Nobriga, who would be a number one on a lot of staffs. Has a win over St. Louis in the preseason to his name. St. Louis number three in the polls, uh, right in the mix in the ILH race. And uh, that great pitching, time with some timely hitting, uh, really set them apart and, and clinched them the state berth. And with that pitching and the veteran presence that they've had, four guys who have seemed to be there forever, a lot of big juniors, I think you know that even number year seems to be magical for Baldwin. 2010 went to the finals here at Mayahara. 2012 to the finals, lost to Waikia. 2014, I think, setting up perhaps for a deep run again. I, I agree. So many of these kids have been through the run. Uh, at certainly... Uh, all the guys you mentioned, Lyndon Kanamu, Noah Polo, who had a three-run homer that was key in the first inning uh, of that uh, s that second win, and uh, just on and on and on. All the guys you mentioned, Lyndon Kanamu was very impressive in game two. I think this Baldwin team, fueled a little bit by their loss as a number one seed here on Maui in the state quarterfinals last year, I think that's driving them on to uh, bigger and better heights. In MIL Tennis... Both defending champions uh, got it done again, uh, but for the Kamehameha girls, they defended their title. They had to play four times in three days, Jordan, and they got it done. They won them all. Yeah, you talk to some of those girls, they almost talked at it as an advantage for them because they were able to improve day to day. Tiebreaker on Thursday forced them to play two matches, semifinals Friday, and then a 4-1 victory over Baldwin on Saturday in the MIL Championship. Uh, you mentioned the four wins in three days, uh, kind of spearheaded by their two singles players at the top of their lineup, Kylie Kato at number one single, Sarah Ikioka at number two, both undefeated in MIL league play. And the sophomore Kato, particularly impressive, hasn't dropped a set in two years uh, for the Warriors at number one singles, really their spearhead. And then the boys' side of things, the Cinderella run for Molokai, the Farmers, made it to another finals in the boys' side of things, but fallen short. Uh, dropping a 3-2 decision to Maui High, who repeats as the boys' champ. And uh, I'll tell you what, man, the Molokai run to two straight MIL tennis finals in the boys' ranks, uh, led by Pono Chow, who's now a, a senior, uh, very, very impressive. We're going to see a lot of those kids in the state tournament here on Maui uh, next month. The state tennis tournaments uh, will be at Wailea. Uh, now, uh, Jordan, very... Um, uh, very impressive in MIL golf as far as dealing with the conditions at uh, the Wailea Old Blue. Kimberly Miyamoto, a Baldwin senior, uh, she ups her lead by uh, 16 strokes in one round. Crazy. Yeah, almost unheard of. It was more so a battle against the conditions than a battle against competitors, if you will, on Saturday. Round three of five total scheduled in the MIL uh, individual championships. Miyamoto, as you mentioned, uh, had the best round by far. The only girl to shoot in the 70s, uh, around in the high 70s. A girl is getting some Division One consideration. Uh, ups her lead to 17, a 16-shot advantage on Saturday. Uh, in the driver's seat, no doubt, with 36 holes to play. And the boys' side of things, also through three of five round, it's Baldwin freshman Justin Yan, who leads it by three, a slim shot, a uh, slim lead over teammate Ariel Elfman Hansen. Uh, Baldwin Sr., who's been through many a battles, has finished in the top four in league play in the last two years, trying to get that breakthrough, and a guy who's on to uh, Division I Utah Valley in the fall. And uh, Bears uh, are in the top four spots in the boys' ranks. You can see why they won the MIL golf team title uh, pretty easily. And, uh, yeah, if good, good to be Kimberly Miyamoto. You, lead, you go in leading by one, you leave the day leading by 17. Uh, Crazy, but uh, hey, Jordan, this uh, this I saw in the paper. Um, talked to uh, my colleagues a little bit about it yesterday. Couldn't let this go by. Uh, in D two softball yesterday, Molokai at Lanai in Lanai City, the Farmers scored ten in the top of the first. The Pine Lasses come back with seventeen in the bottom of the first. Twenty seven runs, one inning, and that wasn't even the whole story. No, it wasn't. Only thirteen hits combined in the game. 
27 runs in the first inning. Uh, one of those that just defies logic, but uh, kind of almost a typical D2 softball Saturday. Crazy. And, and, and by the way, Lanai wins that game 20 to 12. And Jordan, you and I were at a really uh, important volleyball match this week. King Kekalike takes control of the Division I standings uh, with a sweep of Baldwin. And then look out for Little Hana. Yeah, King Kekalike sweeping Baldwin in dominant fashion, uh, showing that they're clear cut the best team right now in Division I. Uh, Baldwin sitting at second place. It could be an exciting race down to the finish, uh, but Kinke Kalike very much so uh, in the driver's seat there. Uh, but the story to me in, in the spring sports season, all the sports combined, is Hana Volleyball. Crazy. They clinched the MIL Division II regular season, and this is the Division II slate that includes Seabury, who's right. been the state finals, won a state championship a few years ago, uh, five straight semifinals on the Division II ranks, and Hana has clinched the regular season so far assuring them at least a playoff should they falter in the league tournament. And this is a school with less than 90 total kids, and not just boys, kids. And for them to be in the hunt, they've got to be in the top three in Division II statewide. With, with, without a doubt, I think they're in the top two right there with HBA and uh, the perennial champions at that level. It's an amazing story uh, coming out of East Maui for sure. And Jordan, a couple really big events coming up this week. Yeah, a couple of big things that we're looking forward to on the calendar. Division II baseball showdown for first place Friday and Saturday. Both games here on the Valley Isle. Molokai and St. Anthony doing battle in that one. Both of them coming in undefeated. And a lot of good players kind of flying under the radar in that one. And then uh, on Saturday as well, at Ho'okipa, the first ever league championship of its kind in the world, any interscholastic league, MIL surfing taking place out on the North Shore. And I know a lot of people excited for that one. Uh, it's history, like you said. Uh, that's it for this week's report, and send us your bobbleheads.